flagship station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. The first game is finally here. Illinois basketball opens its second season under head coach Brad Underwood tonight, taking on Evansville. WCIA 3's Craig Schott joins us now live at State Farm Center. And this time of year is fun, Craig. Always a lot of optimism for Illini Nation. Yeah, everyone is undefeated. National championship dreams are still alive. Kind of. I think Duke might have their national championship banner already hung after their performance they put on against Kentucky on Tuesday. But for the most part, all 351 Division I schools are looking forward to a good season, and that includes the Illini. With eight newcomers and only four returning players, but Brad Underwood is adamant that this roster is more of a fit than last year's team that struggled on and off the court. And the guys know that now it counts. We're more in tune this game, you know. Um, I, I think that, I think that's the biggest thing, you know. Um, Coach Chen is just, just pressing to these young guys how, how serious we get when the season starts, you know. Um, it's go mode, you know. So we, we we know we're better than the team. It's about it's not about the score, but it's about us just just doing our job and getting better. Optimism, you always have to have that. Uh, no matter what uh, adversity is going to hit, things are going to happen. Uh, it's a long season. It's a tough season. Um, guys don't know that yet, but you know they'll find out quickly. But no matter what, you know I'll be there to talk to them to stay positive. Tonight's opponent, the Evansville Purple Aces, are picked to finish last in the Missouri Valley Conference this season. They're under a new head coach, Walter McCarty. It's a 7 o'clock tip-off here from the State Farm Center. It is not on TV. You can only watch it on BTN Plus on btntogo.com. Or, Craig, you can tune in tonight at 10 o'clock. We'll have all plenty of highlights in your report as well. We heard Trent say there, it's go mode. I love that. What's the status on Adonis De La Rosa? I know he worked out a little bit earlier. What would you see from him? How's he looking? Yeah, that's the big question, literally. He's the seven-footer, the grad transfer from Kent State. Of course, he's missed all summer pretty much after he tore his ACL in their final game of the season last year on March 9th. He was the first player out here on the court tonight in pregame warm-ups. He did some non-contact stuff, just some day-to-day -day drills. He looked pretty good. He has gone through all the warm-ups. Now, I'll be interested to see if he comes out here in sweats or in uniform. He was in sweats the other day. I did talk to a team spokesman who said that he would be shocked if he took the floor tonight, so I wouldn't expect to see him tonight against Evansville, maybe sometime here soon. They need him for Maui, which is in about 10 or 11 days. All right, Craig, thanks so much for that. So maybe no Adonis tonight, but I think Illinois fans will be okay with that if he can suit up maybe as early as next week against Georgetown or, like you mentioned, in Maui. All right, Craig, thanks. We'll look for your report tonight at 10. Time to